ഹായ് വെൽക്കം ടു എക്സാം ഏസർ അക്കാഡമി എസ് എസ് സി സ്റ്റീനോഗ്രാഫർ ആൻഡ് കേരള പി എസ് സി എക്സാം ഈസ് ആൾമോസ്റ്റ് നിയർ ഐ ഗെസ് ദോസ് ഹു ഹാവ് അപ്ലൈഡ് ഫോർ ദ എക്സാം ആർ പ്രിപ്പയറിംഗ് ഹാർഡ്ലി ദർ ആർ ഫിഫ്റ്റി ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ഫോർ ജി കെ ഇൻ എസ് എസ് സി സ്റ്റീനോഗ്രാഫർ ആൻഡ് മോർ ദാൻ സിക്സ്റ്റി ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ഇൻ കേരള പി എസ് സി സോ സിക്സ് ടു എയ്റ്റ് ഡെഫിനറ്റ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് വിൽ ബി ആസ്ക് ഫ്രം കറൻറ്റ് അഫയേഴ്സ് ഓൺലി സോ ഐ എം പ്രിപ്പയറിംഗ് ഫോർ ദ സിക്സ് മന്ത് കറൻറ്റ് അഫയേഴ്സ് സോ ലാസ്റ്റ് സിക്സ് മന്ത് കറൻറ്റ് അഫയേഴ്സ് വിൽ ബി ആസ്ക് ഫോർ ദ എക്സാം സോ ദിസ് സെഷൻ ഈസ് ഡെഡിക്കേറ്റഡ് ഫോർ ദ മാർച്ച് ആൻഡ് ഏപ്രിൽ കറൻറ്റ് അഫയേഴ്സ് സോ സ്റ്റാർട്ടിംഗ് ഫ്രം ടുഡേ വി വിൽ ഡു ആൾ മന്ത് കറൻറ്റ് അഫയേഴ്സ് സോ ടുഡേ മാർച്ച് ഏപ്രിൽ ടുമോറോ മെയ് ആഫ്റ്റർ ദാറ്റ് ജൂൺ ജൂലൈ ഓഗസ്റ്റ് so september we are not sure about the september part so it will be like half of uh, september will be considered for the exam so first part so oscar award oscar award oscar was the event it was the 95th academic award oscar award best actor best actor was brendan fraser brendan fraser he got the award for the whale brendan fraser then second best actress is michelle yo everything everywhere all at once everything everywhere all at once has got many awards in the oscar session so the best actress is michelle yo the best picture is everything everywhere all at once okay everything everywhere all at once then best director is daniel kwan and daniel shinnert everything everywhere all at once so i said no like they got many awards for the everything everywhere all at once So, this PDF will be available in the Telegram channel, okay? Okay, next. Best original song, Natu Natu, K.M. Kiravani. Natu Natu, yeah, triple R film. So, best documentary short subject. The best documentary short subject is The Elephant Whisperers. The Elephant Whisperers. It is by Karthiki Gonslayers. So, best costume design goes to Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, Black Panther. then best visual effects goes to avatar the way of water avatar the way of water next so these are some points regarding uh, current affairs of march and april indian railways has set a target of becoming net zero carbon emitter by 2030 sometimes they ask this question like by which year indian railway has a target of becoming net zero carbon emitter so the correct answer is 2030 next india holds the presidency of shanghai corporation organization sco in 2023 yeah. india has the presidency of sco india has holds the presidency of g20 summit also so shanghai the it was held at new delhi so they may ask like who are the members of shanghai corporation sco so there are total nine members in sco okay next ntpc commissioned india's first air cooled condenser at North Karanapura super critical plant in Jharkhand so first air cooled condenser first air cooled condenser is at Jharkhand okay then india rank india has been ranked 42nd in the international intellectual property index 2023 okay 42nd international intellectual property index so who publishes this international intellectual property index it is published by published by usa so us tops in this okay india has got the 42nd rank okay deakin university university becomes first foreign university to set up its international branch campus in india at the gift city so is the first foreign university first foreign university it is the first foreign university to start in india it's, it is in gift city gift city is in gujarat okay deakin university it belong it is from australia it is the australia's university australia again next max vastrapen won the season opening bahrain grand prix okay max vastrapen won the bahrain grand prix india hockey india has appointed south african craig fulton as new chief coach of the indian hockey team indian men's hockey team is that craig fulton craig fulton okay next PM Narendra Modi and Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina jointly jointly inaugurated the India Bangladesh friendship pump pipeline okay they might ask which country started the friendship pipeline with India it is Bangladesh it was inaugurated by Prime Minister and Sheikh 
ഹസീന പ്രൈം മിനിസ്റ്റർ ഓഫ് ബംഗ്ലാദേശ് ഓക്കെ ബംഗ്ലാദേശ് നുമാലി ഗാർ റിഫൈനറി ലിമിറ്റഡ് ഹാസ് ബിൻ സപ്ലൈൻ പെട്രോളിയം പ്രോഡക്ട്സ് ടു ബംഗ്ലാദേശ് സിൻസ് ടു തൗസൻഡ് ഫിഫ്റ്റീൻ ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ സെക്കൻഡ് ക്രോസ് ബോർഡർ എനർജി പൈപ്പ് ലൈൻ ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ഇന്ത്യ ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ്സ് നെയ്ബേഴ്സ് ഓക്കെ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ആത്മനിർഭർ ഭാരത് എം ഒ ഡി ദറ്റ് ഈസ് മെമ്മറാൻഡം ഓഫ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡിങ് സയൻസ് ത്രീ തൗസൻഡ് ക്രോർ കോൺട്രാക്ട് വിത്ത് ബി ഇ എൽ ഫോർ പ്രൊക്യൂർമെൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് ടു ഇൻ്റഗ്രേറ്റഡ് ഇലക്ട്രോണിക് വാർഫെയർ സിസ്റ്റം പ്രോജക്ട് ഹിമാ ശക്തി പ്രോജക്ട് ഹിമാ ശക്തി ഇറ്റ് മേ ആസ്ക് ഓക്കെ ബി എൽ ഇസ് ഭാരത് ഇലക്ട്രോണിക്സ് ലിമിറ്റഡ് ഓക്കെ ആത്മനിർഭർ ഭാരത് സയൻസ് ത്രീ തൗസൻഡ് ക്രോർ കോൺട്രാക്ട് വിത്ത് ബി ഇ എൽ ഫോർ പ്രൊക്യൂർമെൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് ടു ഇൻ്റഗ്രേറ്റഡ് ഇലക്ട്രോണിക് വാർഫെയർ സിസ്റ്റം ഹിമാ ശക്തി നെക്സ്റ്റ് പി എം മിത്ര വട്ട് ഇസ് പി എം മിത്ര സിന്ധ്യമായിട്ട് ആസ്ക് പ്രധാന മന്ത്രി പ്രധാൻ മന്ത്രി മേഘ ഇൻ്റഗ്രേറ്റഡ് ടെക്സ്റ്റൈൽ റീജൻ ആൻഡ് ആപ്രൽ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ദ ഇൻഫ്രാസ്ട്രക്ചർ ഡെവലപ്മെൻറ്റ് പ്രോജക്റ്റ് ഓക്കെ സെവൻ സിറ്റീസ് ആർ ചുവൻ സോ സെവൻ പി എം മിത്ര പാർക്ക് സൈറ്റ്സ് ആർ അനൗൺസ്ഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഇൻ തമിഴ്നാടു തമിഴ്നാടു തെലങ്കാന ഗുജറാത്ത് കർണാടക മധ്യപ്രദേശ് ഉത്തർപ്രദേശ് മഹാരാഷ്ട്ര പി എം മിത്ര പാർക്സ് ഇൻസ്പയർഡ് ബൈ ദ ഫൈവ് എഫ് വിഷൻ ഓഫ് ഓണറേബിൾ പ്രൈം മിനിസ്റ്റർ ഫോം ടു ഫൈബർ ഓക്കെ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് വിഷൻ ഫ്രം ഫോം ടു ഫൈബർ ടു ഫാക്ടറി ടു ഫാഷൻ ടു ഫോറിൻ ഫൈവ് എഫ് ഫാം ടു ഫൈബർ ഫൈബർ ടു ഫാക്ടറി ഫൈവ് ഫാക്ടറി ടു ഫാഷൻ ടു ഫോറിൻ നെക്സ്റ്റ് വിമൻസ് വേൾഡിംഗ് വിമൻസ് വേൾഡ് ബോക്സിംഗ് ചാമ്പ്യൻഷിപ്പ് വാസ് ഹെൽഡ് ആറ്റ് ന്യൂ ഡൽഹി സോ ഗോൾഡ് മെഡൽ നിഖബ് സറിൻ ലവ്ലീന ബൊർഗാഹിൻ നീത്തു ഗംഗാസ് ആൻഡ് ഫൈറ്റി ബൂറ ദ മേ ആസ്ക് ലൈക്ക് നിഖബ് സറിൻ ബിലോങ്സ് ടു വിച്ച് സ്പോർട്ട് സോ നിഖബ് സറിൻ ലവ്ലീന ബൊർഗോഹൈൻ നീത്തു ഗംഗാസ് സവാട്ടി ബൂറ ദ ബിലോങ്സ് ടു വിമൻസ് വേൾഡ് ബോക്സിംഗ് ചാമ്പ്യൻഷിപ്പ് ഓക്കെ നാസ നേം ഡാഷ് ആസ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് വിമൻ ആൻഡ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ആഫ്രിക്കൻ അമേരിക്കൻ എവർ അസൈൻഡ് ആസ് ആസ്ട്രോണറ്റ് ടു എ ലൂണർ മിഷൻ the first women to assign as a lunar mission astronaut who is that christina koch sophie adonot anna kikina nicole anu anupu man correct answer christina koch so there are four members four members are selected for the lunar mission so christina koch becomes the first woman to be ever assigned as a astronaut to a lunar mission so there are four persons are there rail wise man Jeremy Hansen, Victor Glover and Christina Koch. So, Rail is the Commander-in-Chief. Rail is the Commander-in-Chief. Okay. Next question. In which country the Tulsi Gut Restoration Project has been launched? Tulsi Gut Restoration Project. This is a project from Varnasi, okay, Uttar Pradesh. So, it was been launched in where? Uganda, Kenya, Estonia, Sudan. the correct answer is uganda so it was inaugurated by s jay shankar s jay shankar s jay shankar okay nam sai declaration is associated with nam sai nam sai declaration is associated with trade agreement between india and bangladesh mou signed between india and russia regarding crude oil trade boundary dispute between assam and arunachal pradesh cultural exchange program between india and bhutan namsai declaration namsai de- namsai declaration namsai declaration is a boundary dispute between assam and arunachal pradesh okay who become the f- first women officer in the indian air force to be presented a gallantry award shaliza dhami deepika mishra minty agarwal avani chaturvedi the correct answer is deepika mishra deepika mishra becomes the first women officer in indian air force to be presented a gallantry award so next question who among the following was awarded with the ramon magsasai award in 1959 yeah this award was given in 1959 but the person received this award in this year so this becomes a current affair so who who received this award it is dalai lama next 
PM Narendra Modi inaugurated the 8th edition of Raisina Dialogue in New Delhi in March 2023. Who among the following was the chief guest of the summit? Raisina Dialogue. Who become the who has become the chief guest? Rishi Sunak, Elizabeth Bond, Olaf Scholz and Georgia Meloni. Yeah, we know Meloni, PM of first PM of Italy. It Italy. Yeah, we had seen a lot of trolls about them. World Wildlife Day is observed on every 3rd March. Okay, 3rd March is World Wildlife Day. And the theme for 2023 is theme. What is the theme for World Wildlife Day? Recovering key species for ecosystem restoration, forest and livelihoods, sustaining people and planet, partnership for wildlife conservation, sustaining all life on earth. What is the theme for World Wildlife Day? It is Partnership for Wildlife Conservation. Next. In March 2023, which team won Santosh Trophy finals defeating Meghalaya? So, Santosh Trophy is related to which four sports? It is related to football. Okay. So, who won the Santosh Trophy? Karnataka won the Santosh Trophy. So, the first runner-up is Meghalaya. Ranji Trophy is related to cricket, okay? Dhara, owed to Indian Knowledge System, is a unique and flagship initiative under which ministry? Dhara is a initiative under which ministry? Ministry of Education, Ministry of Culture, Ministry of Science and Technology, Ministry of Finance. Dhara is initiative under Ministry of Culture. In March 2023, who among the following has won the BBC Indian Sportsman Women of the Year Award for 2022? Indian BBC Indian Sports Women of the Award. Indian Sports Women of the Award. Indian Sports Women of the Award goes to Vinesh Fogat, Nikat Zarin, Meera Bai Chanu, PV Sindhu. It is Meera Bai Chanu. The Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, has recently received the Indo-US jointly developed NISSAR satellite. NISSAR is a... So, they might ask, what is NISSAR? It is an Indo-US jointly developed satellite. Okay. It is a low orbit, low earth orbit observatory satellite. They might ask, uh, it is related to what kind? So, maybe remote sensing satellite, communication satellite, regional navigation satellite. But it is a low earth orbit low earth orbit observatory satellite the landslide atlas report in india is published by which among the following organization the landslide atlas report in india is published by india meteorological department wildlife trust of india national remote sensing center national informatic centers the landslide report is published by National Remote Sensing Center. Next. HP Dam and Push P portals were launched by which of the following ministry recently? HP Dam and Push P. So it's related to Ministry of Power. Ministry of Power. Mount Merapi Volcano erupted recently. It is located in Mount Merapi Volcano recently. Volcano erupted recently in which? It is located in which country? It is in Indonesia. Mount Merapi Volcan is in Indonesia. In which state of India has the rare moth species Mimusemia silonica has been spotted for the first time? Mimusemia silonica, it is from Ceylon, means Sri Lanka. So it was spotted in India for the first time. In which state? It is in Tamil Nadu. Yeah, we can kindly guess. Like from Sri Lanka, Tamil Nadu, they have common language similarity. In which state has the world's longest railway platform been inaugurated? World's longest platform. It is almost 1.5. 1.5 kilometer platform. It is in Karnataka. It is in Hubballi. Hubballi. Where will be the 38th National Games will be organized in 2024? 38th National Games will be organized in Uttarakhand. 36th was in Gujarat. 
గుజరాత్ థర్టీ సెవెంత్ వాజ్ ఇన్ గోవా థర్టీ ఎయిత్ ఈస్ ఉత్తరాఖండ్ హూ అమెంగ్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ హ్యాస్ బీన్ నేమ్ యాజ్ ద బ్రాండ్ అంబాసిడర్ ఆఫ్ విమెన్స్ వరల్డ్ బాక్సింగ్ ఛాంపియన్షిప్ ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ త్రీ అంబాసిడర్ ఆఫ్ విమెన్ బాక్సింగ్ అంబాసిడర్ ఆఫ్ విమెన్స్ వరల్డ్ బాక్సింగ్ ఛాంపియన్షిప్ ఫర్హాన్ అక్తర్ సల్మాన్ ఖాన్ విజేందర్ సింగ్ అమీర్ ఖాన్ ద కరెక్ట్ ఆన్సర్ ఇస్ ఫర్హాన్ అక్తర్ హూ అమెంగ్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ ఇస్ ద ఇంప్లిమెంటింగ్ ఏజెన్సీస్ ఆఫ్ ద ప్రధాన్ మంత్రి కిసాన్ సంపద యోజన ప్రధాన్ మంత్రి కిసాన్ సంపద యోజన మినిస్ట్రీ ఆఫ్ అగ్రికల్చర్ అండ్ ఫార్మ్ వెల్ఫేర్ మినిస్ట్రీ ఆఫ్ ఫుడ్ ప్రాసెసింగ్ ఇండస్ట్రీ మినిస్ట్రీ ఆఫ్ రూరల్ డెవలప్మెంట్ మినిస్ట్రీ ఆఫ్ కన్స్యూమర్స్ విచ్ ఈస్ ద కరెక్ట్ ఆన్సర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఫుడ్ ప్రాసెసింగ్ ఇండస్ట్రీస్ సో నెక్స్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ ఇన్ విచ్ సిటీ విల్ ఇండియాస్ ఫస్ట్ మెడికల్ సిటీ ఇంద్రయాణి మెడి సిటీ విల్ బి బిల్డ్ ఫస్ట్ మెడికల్ సిటీ ఇన్ ఇండియా It is in Mumbai, Pune, Chennai or Ajmer. Which city? It is in Pune. How many digits does the unique land parcel identification number have? It is UL PIN. It is like Aadhaar, Bhoomi Aadhaar. It is also called as Bhoomi Aadhaar. Aadhaar for the land. Okay. How many PINs are there? So in the e Aadhaar, in our Aadhaar, there is 12 PIN. 12 digits are there. 444. So in Aadhaar, ULPN, Unique Land Parcel Identification Number, there is 14, 14 pin are there, 14 digits are there, started in Bihar. Who is Asia's first loco pilot, first women loco pilot and will operate one day Bharat? First women loco pilot of Asia, who is that? Sureka Yadav Ji. Which country is set to purchase up to 5 US nuclear powered submarines under AUKUS day? Who is that? So AUKUS means Australia, UK, US. So who is purchasing? Australia. Australia has purchased 5 US nuclear powered submarines. <clears throat> As per the latest data on international arms transfers released by Stockholm Institute, International Peace Research Institute which among the following country is the world's largest arms importer so who is the last so there are importer and exporter import means one who buys exporter is one who sends okay so first place goes to india only india buys india buys more and the one first largest exporter is us okay so importer india saudi second and qatar third so exporter us russia and france france okay in which country are the carmatic islands located carmatic islands are located in new zealand which country is the first country to import co2 and bury it under sea so they just imported co2 from other countries and they just buried it under sea which is the first country to do, the, do so it was denmark which of the following places has featured in the time magazine's list of world's greatest place world's greatest place in 2023 so ladakh was there so in another place was mayurbhanj malkanagri ahmedabad kalahandi it was mayurbhanj okay it was mayurbhanj it is in odisha okay mayurbhanj is in odisha which of the following companies has developed india's first indigenous quadruped that is four legged robot and exoskeleton for defense sector it was developed by swaya robotics okay who was recently appointed as an honorary officer in general division of order of australia who is that it is ratan tata he ha- he has received the highest civilian prize of australia order of australia priyanka goswami and akshadeep singh are associated with dash so these kind of question will be asked one question will be related to sports arts and uh, means musical instrument will be asked that is for sure okay priyanka goswami and akshadeep singh are related to race walking it is like 
walking 20 km walk the issf world cup shooting championship 2023 is held in issf world cup shooting championship 2023 is held in where So I have doubt in this question so I will do it later. <coughs> Sampanna Sailor Sampanna Sailor Sampanna Sailor is associated with which sports? Sampanna Sailor is associated with which sports? Swimming, Hockey, Shooting, Football He is related to swimming. He is, has become the first Indian to cross the Palk Strait so he is the first swimmer under 21 ok Sampanna Shela is related to swimming which of the following statement is correct about Sagar Manthan Sagar Manthan ok it is a real time performance monitoring dashboard for Ministry of Port, Shipping and Waterways. It is a web based portal launched to provide inland waterway services. It is mobile application for auctioning underwater resources. It is a web based application for management of ports in India. Sagar Mantha. It is a real time performance monitoring dashboard for Ministry of Port, Shipping and Waterways. Okay. Dash is the first women wildlife rescuer from Jammu Kashmir honored with wildlife conservation award first women to receive wildlife rescue from Jammu Kashmir honored with wildlife conservation award Ali Amir in March 2023 European Commission granted protected geographical indication for India's unique dash protected geographical indication tag for Kangra T The one first is a 3D printed cryogenic engine developed and test fired by The one second The one second was test fired by Skyroot Aerospace Private Limited Skyroot Aerospace Private Limited The Kirit Parik The Kirit Parik committee is related to government subsidy in agriculture pricing of natural gas improvement of elementary education infrastructure and rural development the Kirit Parik is related to pricing of natural gases. TN Rich, an initiative of Tamil Nadu government to okay, is the initiative. TN Rich is a initiative of Tamil Nadu government to digitalize all land records, facilitating the helicopter services from all the unused helipads, monetize the unused assets of state government digitize the process of auctioning of government contracts the correct answer is facilitating helicopter services facilitating helicopter services the correct answer is b from all the unused helipads next priyanshu rajavat has recently won orleans master he is associated with which of the following sports? Priyanshu Rajavat. Priyanshu Rajavat is related to which sports? Badminton, cricket, hockey. He is related to badminton. Priyanshu Rajavat is related to badminton. The tropospheric emissions, monitoring of pollution, tempo, air high resolution air quality control instrument launched by dash tropospheric emission tempo was launched by whom indian space research organization isro 
European Space Agency, Japan, Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, National Aeronautic Space Administration. Which is that? Tempo was launched by Tempo was okay, one second. Tempo was launched by was launched by NASA. The world's first conservation and breeding center for critically endangered Asian king vulture is set to open in. Is set to open in where? The world's first conservation. The world's first conservation and breeding center for the critically endangered Asian king vulture is to be opened in Maharaj Gang. Okay, it is to be opened in Maharaj Gang. Recently, the Election Commission of India has revoked the national party status of which among the following political parties? Aam Admi Party, Trinamol Congress, YSR Congress Party, Dravida Munnetra Kayagam. The correct answer is Trinamool Congress. Aam Admi got the status of national party. Trinamool lost the national party status. Which country is the host of 2023 Asian Wrestling Championship? Country is the host of 2023 Asian Wrestling Championship. The answer is India, Hungary, Hungary, Kazakhstan, Azerbaijan. The answer is Kazakhstan. External Affairs Minister Dr. Jai Shankar virtually inaugurated the Boozy Bridge built by India in which country? Boozy Bridge built in which country? It is in Mozambique. External Jai, uh, FS Minister Jai Shankar has the first Indian to go to Mozambique also. Okay. Every year on April 13, the Siachen Warriors celebrate Siachen Day. This year marks the 39th anniversary of Operation Vijay, Operation Safed Sagar, Operation Meghdoot. Siachen Day is on April 13. So this year, 39th anniversary is of Operation Megadut. Next. What is the name of European Space Agency's probe that was launched on a mission to explore Jupiter's moon? Okay, Jupiter's moon. Jews, Juno, Europa, Cassini. The European Space Agency's probe that was launched on mission to explore Jupiter's moon is Jews. Who received the German's highest honor, Grand Cross Award, in April 2023? Queen Camilla, Angela Merkel, King Charles III, Christian Wolf. The correct answer is Angela Merkel. State wide attention to grievances by application of technology. Swagat is an initiative of which of the following state government? Swagat is initiative of which of the following state government? Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Gujarat, Uttar Pradesh. Which is the correct answer? The correct answer is Gujarat. Swagat initiative by Gujarat. Atma Nirbhar Bharat MOD aims to contracts with BEL worth 2400 crore for procurement of automated air defense control and reporting system Project Akashthir Project Akashthir for Indian Army and Saran Electronic Stop Support Measure System for Indian Navy Rupees 3000 crore contract signed with New Space India Limited for an advanced communication satellite for Indian Army Next, World Water Day. It's on 22nd March. Okay, the World Water Day is observed on 22nd March. First observed on 1993. The objective of World Water Day is to raise awareness and inspire action to tackle the water and sanitization crisis. The theme for 2023 World Water Day is accelerating the change to solve the water and sanitization crisis. 
the Indian team star hockey player Rani Rampal has become the first woman in sports to have a stadium named after her in Ray Bareilly. The MCF by Ravelli has renamed the hockey stadium Rani's Girls Hockey Turf. Okay. The Indian Space Research Organization ISRO successfully launched India's largest launch vehicle Mark 3. LVM-3, that is Launch Vehicle Mark 3, Rocket 1 Web India to Mission with 36 satellites on board from Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota, Andhra Pradesh. Argentina-born mathematician Luis Caffrelli has won the 2023 Abel Prize, one of the most converted awards in mathematics, that is Nobel Prize for Maths, Luis Caffrelli for Maths. Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi addressed the inaugural session of Global Buddhist Summit in New Delhi. Global Buddhist Summit in New Delhi. Satvik Sai Raj Reddy and Chirag Shetty become the first in Indian women's double pair to win the Badminton Asia Championship. Okay. Finland becomes the 31st member. Finland becomes the 31st member of NATO. It was started in 1949. NATO. Okay. Philanthropist and art collector Kiran Nadar was recently conferred Chevalier de la Légion d'Honneur by French ambassador to India Emmanuel Lenai. Kiran Nadar, who won the award. Okay. Peru has become the host of 2023, has been removed. Okay. Peru has been removed the host of 2023 FIFA Under 17 Men's World Cup. FIFA has regretfully withdrawn Peru's hosting rights to FIFA Under-17 World Cup 2023 following extensive discussion between Peruvian Football Federation and FIFA. Second. The Indian-American statistician Kalyam Bodhi Radha Krishna Rao has been awarded 2023 International Prize in Statistics which is statistics equivalent of Nobel Prize. Nobel Prize in Stats. It's given to Kalyambadi Radha Krishna Rao. For maths, it's Louis Kaufman. For statistics, it's Kalyampudi Radha Krishna. Rajasthan's Nandini Gupta has been crowned as Femina Miss India World. Okay, Nandini Gupta from Rajasthan. Recently, India has launched Operation Kaveri to Sudan. Okay, Operation Kaveri to rescue its stranded citizens from Sudan. Operation Kaveri gets underway to bring our citizens stranded in Sudan. Dubai-based airline Emirates has unveiled its latest innovation, the world's first robotic check-in assistant named Sara. First world robotic check-in in airport. It is, her name is Sara. Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs informed that 86% of funds have been utilized and 69% of projects completed under Smart Cities Mission. It is Central Sponsored Scheme. Smart City Mission. It is a Central Sponsored Scheme launched in 2015. The main objective of the mission is to promote cities that provide core infrastructure, clean and sustainable environment and give a decent quality of life to the citizens through the application of smart solution. So it consists of three models that is city improvement, city renewal and city extension that retrofitting, redevelopment, greenfield development. The summer scheme has been made operational by government under uh, until March 2024. Summer, okay. Scheme for capacity building in textiles sector. It is an umbrella skilling program for of Ministry of Textiles. The scheme aims to train 10 lakh persons, 9 lakhs in organized, 1 lakh in traditional sector. It is implemented through implementing partners, IPs. Government e-marketplace, GEM, commemorates the success of Swayat, an initiative to promote startups, women, youth advantage through e-transaction on GEM. The initiative to promote startups, women and youth advantage through East Transit Gem. It was first launched in 2019. Swayat. So, okay. Union Cabinet approved procurement of 70 HTT 40 basic trainer aircraft from HAL for IAF at a cost of over 6,800 crores. And carrier training ships also. Okay. These are related to defense. 
yeah this is for march and april so get familiar with this concept i'll come with the next month current affairs on coming days so thank you for watching i hope everyone are preparing well and please do your hard work hard work will result in good result all the rest